at Rigel, it remains one of the most interesting to astronomers because of its variable behavior and peculiar name. Alpha stars are usually the brightest stars in the constellations, and although Rigel outshines it in brightness, Betelgeuse stands out for its size and reddish color. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the most famous stars in the night sky, being the tenth brightest and seventh brightest visible from much of North America, Europe, and Canada. Its name comes from Arabic and means, armpit of the giant, in reference to its position in the constellation. Betelgeuse loses about one solar mass every 10,000 years, ejecting materials evenly in all directions, forming a nebula around it. This nebula has a diameter of 30 astronomical units, which is 30 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun, and is 250 times larger than the star itself. At its core, Betelgeuse fuses hydrogen atoms under immense gravity, producing helium and releasing light and heat in the process. As the star exhausts its hydrogen, it begins to fuse helium and carbon as fuel. When the helium is consumed, neon reacts with carbon, forming iron. The fusion of iron releases no energy, causing the star to collapse under its own gravity and eventually explode in a supernova, one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. Depending on their age and evolutionary stage, stars emit light in different wavelengths, from the bright blue of young stars to the red of older ones. According to the ancient astronomer Ptolemy, Betelgeuse had a color that he curiously described as rough. However, ancient Chinese astronomers noted that Betelgeuse appeared to have a yellow color, suggesting that in the past it may have been a yellow supergiant. Large stars tend to consume their hydrogen rapidly, bringing them to a premature end, even if their lifetime is only 10 million years. There is no doubt that Betelgeuse is in the last stages of its existence. While our sun still has more than 5 billion years to go, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, which means that at some point it could explode as a supernova. However, the exact timing of this event remains uncertain. Betelgeuse goes through two brightening and dimming cycles, one of which occurs every five years and lasts about 100 days. It is believed that the expansion and contraction of its outer shell during these cycles causes changes in its diameter and average temperature. Many paid attention to Betelgeuse because of its erratic behavior in 2019 and 2020 when its brightness decreased dramatically, only to recover temporarily. Some astronomers have speculated that this behavior could indicate that the star is in the final stages of its life. Detailed studies of Betelgeuse date back to the 1st century BC, but the cause of its dimming remains a total mystery. Betelgeuse has been detected moving through the interstellar medium at a speed of 30 km per second after being ejected from its place of origin in the Orion OB-1 association, which contains the stars of Orion's belt. Its shock arc extends more than four light years. Determining the distance to red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is a notoriously complicated task in astronomy, as multiple factors make it difficult to calculate its exact diameter. In addition, as a pulsating star, Betelgeuse's size changes with time. This phenomenon, together with the dimming of the stellar limb, causes its visual emission to change color and dim as we move away from the star's center. In addition, the circumstellar envelope, composed of the material ejected by the star, plays an important role in emitting and absorbing light, which also influences how we perceive its brightness. Direct comparisons between observations of Betelgeuse are difficult to make, as its apparent size varies depending on the wavelength used. Diameters can fluctuate by as much as 35% depending on the wavelength used to measure them within the electromagnetic spectrum. In July 2009, the European Southern Observatory published images captured with a VLTI interferometer on its ground-based telescope showing a huge plume of gas extending up to 30 astronomical units from the star's atmosphere, one of multiple mass ejections recorded from Betelgeuse. This ejection was comparable in size to the angular separation between the Sun and Neptune. At least six ejections have been discovered around Betelgeuse.
This phenomenon may offer clues to the mystery of mass loss in the final phases of these giant stars, which could be the key to their demise. The complex dynamics of Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere remain an enigma, as does the exact mechanism by which these red supergiants eject material. These stars are essential to the cycling of matter in galaxies, and thanks to advances in interferometric techniques, astronomers are closer to solving this enigma. In 2019, researchers using the Hubble telescope and other telescopes discovered that Betelgeuse had ejected a large portion of its visible surface, generating a significant surface mass ejection. Although the Sun produces coronal mass ejections, the events at Betelgeuse were thousands of times more intense, with this SME ejecting an amount of material 400 billion times larger than a typical solar coronal ejection. This explains why Betelgeuse experienced a rapid decline in brightness in October 2019. By mid-February 2020, it had lost about three times its luminosity, going from magnitude 0.5 to 1.7. By February 17, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had remained relatively stable for more than a week. On the 5th, it appeared that the star had stopped dimming completely. However, the recent visual fades were not related to a possible collapse of its core, as no significant infrared changes were observed on February 24, 2020. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this one.